Hey, Steve Azek Architect, yeah. So we're down here on one of the lower floors and uh, we're putting up those aluminum panels. So I thought we'd take a walk around the outside and check it out. So first of all, let's go over here and you can see that is my vest 700. So it's a pretty durable uh, UV protected weather resistive membrane and you can see it has some release tape there the Sega tape that's so that the next layer that comes down you can peel that off and it's a two-sided tape but let's take a look inside the wall here so you can see there we have our first layer of furring that is synonymous with this piece and that piece basically you just put on there you can see screwed through Electrical penetrations, those all get sealed up there. But then they have this lateral piece. Now, the lateral piece, I think, is in there because these need to be spaced accordingly to the panel size. And the panel size doesn't necessarily coordinate with the stud spacing, which these are attached to. So these get attached to the studs. These are just providing a substrate to put the final furring on and these allow for the lateral displacement of those and then you can see this is that panel it is um you know when i put my finger up next to it you can see it is quite thin i mean we're probably talking three sixteenths of an inch and if i come around here you can see it has kind of an aluminum face gets these little torque screws they're surface mounted and like I said earlier, it's installed like a rain screen. So there's actually a gray piece of paper. It's about three inches wide. It's run on the furring strip. So when we look into it, it helps seal the panel, but it also provides, when we look at it dead on, it provides that gray look on the inside. Now, one of the things that I don't necessarily like about these panels, and you'll see it in another video is this facing here doesn't turn the corner and go inside there it uh, basically just stops and leaves somewhat of a raw panel there which i think is susceptible to a, a different weathering um, but here you can see i mean it's just basically wrapped around this louver um, not the best of flashing here, but you have to remember also, it's an open joint rain screen, so it's just water. If it did get in there, it's just simply gonna fall down through the system. As we make our way, and just bear with me because I'm walking on scaffolding. Here you can see this is a, a panel here. It's already pre-drilled, you can see all the holes, but this will also give you kind of a section cut of what we're looking at there. Um, and then as we go here, you can see here's that full rain screen system. So this is that uh, piece that I said, you know, that gets put up and that's where the joints fall. And then these are spaced accordingly to where the panels go. And you can see here, basically the panel install. Now, the thing about this stuff is, you can see, it actually takes a little bit of um, indentation there, which means it, it's, it's really hard, but it does have a little level of softness. So when you screw the panel to it, what I'm trying to get at is, you can see here, there's not a whole lot of relief. That panel sits up nice and tight, so this almost becomes, it's, it's somewhat rubberized. So it becomes this kind of rubberized weather stripping there. And of course, as we move down, you can see they have some lighting boxes here that they'll screw in and seal up. And again, we don't really care about that because right behind the panel, we have that. So water can freely flow down through that system. Here you can see the details at the window. They basically just bring that panel 
and it sits just a little bit proud. You can see there is a little bit of a lip there on the back side and down this side here. So it is a pretty simple cladding install. Make our way around the building because there's a couple things I wanted to show you here. And obviously we're walking on scaffolding that won't exist later. But over here you can see we have a door here and that takes you out onto what will be a patio here. You can see there's it's all set up for this groove to capture the rail. But what I wanted to show you is they basically have these stone patio blocks. And then this is the system. They basically have these adjustable feet that these blocks then sit on. So let's take a walk down here. Take a walk around the unit. And you'll see here, yeah, we have another one of those large deck systems with the door. The thing that I find pretty interesting too is for as beautiful a view as we have here, and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's not a lot of window on this wall to take it in. And, and in this case here, I don't know if the shading device is going to be something that gets installed afterwards or if in fact there is no shading device, but this will give you a good shot of what that wall system looks like. And like I said, I shot the building across the way and it seemed that it was already seeing some failure modes along these edges around those systems. So, very interesting stuff. And obviously, the deck above, and that goes right back into the concrete system, so that's not thermally broken in any way there. Anyways, I think there's much more to see. I'm just taking this view again. Yeah, we're in uh, Christiansenland, Norway. Just absolutely gorgeous. This is their harbor. Yeah. But actually, let's just take a little walk around the corner. I just hate to. Uh, get there and say, huh, we missed that, or we could have taken a picture of that or a video of that. So we have a little corner deck here. So here you can see really good how those little feet work. They're adjustable. Right? They turn up and there's basically little stems on the system there. So those fall follow the alignment of the blocks. Yeah, pretty nice corner deck here. So this is literally inside the cliffs there. So cranes and stuff doing work. Anyway, go back. You know I like to finish with a a good view. So take a shot of that view. finish there so yeah Steve basic architect we are somewhere in Norway thanks for joining in if you're not subscribing smash that subscribe button tell all your friends until next time long live our buildings hey I know another bonus video here Check this out. Yeah. What are we looking at? I know you guys have seen spiral staircases before. All right. Let's step out here. They just did paint it. And you can see it goes up. There's the landing there. But how about this? 
know if you can quite make that out, but yeah, it goes down all 15 stories. So this is the fire escape to the unit. Absolutely crazy.